Hi, everyone of the Sign of Cancer. I'm here today to give you your message of the week. Thank you for your likes, subscribes, follow, shares, and comments. You guys have been a blessing to me and a blessing to this channel. I greatly appreciate all your loving support. If you're interested in a consultation with me, the only way to do so is through my website. So I recommend you check out the link in the description bar below. So today we're going to be using my horror oracle deck and my tarot with some um, runes to find out your message. Um, this is for all my cancer collective, the ones that are spiritual warriors, the ones that are actually doing this stuff, right? Not those ones that are narcissistic, toxic, negative frequency, um, victim mentality all the time. Not for those, but everybody else. Yes. Okay. So let's start and find out what we have to tell you. I don't know why I hear water, water, see the water. I'm, I'm just going to say it out there just because I, I have it in my head. Okay, so the first thing that comes out is Psycho with a card shock. Um, so something unexpected is coming up. Let's find out more about this unexpected thing that's coming up. Um, the rune that you have is this one right here, which is Kanu, and Kanu is opening. So the shock has something to do... Um, of some kind of revelation, something that's coming through that you weren't expecting. So, wow. And then when I split the desk, the first thing that I see is the two of wands. So it's like a fork in the road. You have a choice to either proceed in this new chalking revelation that's coming um, forward, or you're, you're being told to either go forward or stay back, but decide one way or another. I don't know. I'm not sure if this is an actually good thing. Um, let's find out, right? So what is this thing that's being revealed? Mm, we have the hermit card. All right. Maybe I should put the cards over here so you can kind of see them. No, you can't. It doesn't matter. It's my counter space. Mm, Ten of cups. When I saw those two cards, the first thing that came to mind was a shocking truth about the family. What about this shocking truth about the family? Page of Pentacles. Something that you're invested in that you don't know about. This is weird, Cancer. <laughs> but that's okay. King of Pentacles. All right, this is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing this sh thing that's going to shock you, this thing that's going to like have to you make a decision if you're going to go one way or another or if you're going to stay stuck in the same patterns and you're in um that it's like a it's a revelation about a path that your family has taken um and they have invested on that actually took them from um, from being small to being large. And I feel like it has to be about the economy. So it can be how they came into power, how they were able to move forward, how they were able to um, create wealth, how they were able to like, to be known. Um, but why is this shocking? Ooh, the sun card. The truth is being revealed. Clarity? Mm, tell me more about that. Six of pentacles. This is the first time I ever hear this of the six of pentacles, but I heard it. Of the things they have taken the tips, the scales in their favor. Okay? Of the things they took without other people noticing that tips the scales in their favor. What? This one's going to be metaphysical just for, if it's not you, just tune out. But this one feels very um, magic-y. Then we have the king of wands. And this feels like um, survival of the fittest. Um, 
the person that is smart, that is strategic, that has the, I want to say the balls to do something is the one that was going to be able to get ahead. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups for me is not what everybody says it is because I've been using these cards for a while and I'm like my guides use these energies differently. Nine of Cups for me is witchcraft. It's um, somebody using their will, um, their, their energy to make witches to tip the skills in their favor. Wow. Six of Cups. I mean, Six of Swords. Six of Cups is, your, is people from your past. The Six of Swords is here. Why are you saying that? Um, because she has her back to the Nine of Cups, which would make her move away from this energy. What does that mean? We have something you're going to financially have to invest into so that you can become the emperor. Ooh, now I'm more confused because, um, see, as I'm looking at the cards, right, as they're playing out here and how I have them laid out, it feels like um, this energy where you find out this dirty little secret of the family that they actually got ahead because they were involved in some kind of witchcraft or sneaky deals or something funny, you know, and this funny business that they were involved in, um, tip the sales in their favor. And you have to decide if you want to be them or if you're going to be something different. But it looks like a, necess um, a necessity of kind of investing in something because the Ace of Pentacles for me is paying up. You have to pay up. What are you paying up? I want to know that. Eight of, um, of Pentacles work so that you can move forward. Oh, I think that you might have to contract a practitioner. This is so crazy, Cancer. I'm just going to put it out there. Um, this feels metaphysical. This feels like this feels like witchy stuff. And it feels like you're going to have to invest on someone, like pay money for someone to do some work to help you get out of this situation. Um, tell me about the emperor. If you do that, you'll go from rags to riches because we have the five of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. Um, so are you saying that they're going to have to go get some kind of work done? A healing? A ritual? Hierophant in reverse. What about the hierophant in reverse? King of swords. Okay, so for you to be able, um, King of Cups, okay, so for you to be able to break this, you have to um, move away from tradition, you have to move away from um, organized whatever it is that you normally do. You have to do something outside of the traditional things to do stuff. And you have to balance your wit, your smarts, and your emotions when you get involved in this. No, this feels like I'm talking to a man because I'm getting so much. I've I've literally got all four, four kings here. And, and you're trying to become an emperor because that's the only way that you're going to be able to break this. Oh, this is such a weird reading, y'all. Um, and elevate because I have the lovers to make the choice to elevate. Mm. Bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune, Justice card. Um, so I've been, if you guys see the astrology of the week, um, we're starting to 
as the month progresses and stuff, we're going to start getting a little bit closer to Scorpio season. As we go into Scorpio season, things that were hidden are going to reveal themselves. Okay. And I feel like what is being revealed to you is like a family dirty little secret because Psycho, that movie Psycho was like the guy's dirty little secret was that he was fucking Psycho and he listened to um, his mom was very abusive and he became his mom and would kill other people because he couldn't leave anybody. I mean, his, it, um, he was hers, you know. Um, wow, I have the Ace of ace of cups and there's it's talking about having to change because you see things clearly um i just feel like there's this energy where um there's more to the story that you don't see you're gonna have to delve into the things that are i want to say a little bit witchy or a little bit unknown to you you're not going to be able to do this by yourself you're going to need to contract somebody to help you out with that um but I feel like the cat's going to come out of the bag, but there's a cat in the bag right now. And um, there's something fishy. And it just feels very like when you find this out, you're going to be in complete denial and you're going to be like, there's no way my family's involved in that. Um, that's things that you see on in like on tv and all kinds of stuff but that's not something that happens in real life the reality is more people are involved in things that are witchcrafty than we want to admit okay and um they've just been really good at hiding and what's going to start happening because we're entering the truth you know the time of the rate reveal where nobody can hide um, this is going to come to light and more of us have to be more proactive and becoming more spiritually protected. Um, be, and a lot of us are going to have to get out of contracts that we didn't even know we were involved in. And so, um, I guess get ready. Um, that's all I can tell you, my my Capricorns. <laughs> I mean, not my Capricorns, my Cancers. I wanted to call you Leo and I wanted to call you Capricorn. I don't know if that was important for you, but I'm just going to say it out there. Um, very interesting reading. I hope to see you the next time.